We are back in Mount Dora today, and behind us was the former Barrel of Books and Games bookstore that we tried showing you last time we were in Mount Dora. However, they have officially moved to their new location. Across the street. Across the street. Let's go check it out. So again, this was the old location. You can see Barrel of Books and Games. And then if we turn to this green building right here, they just opened up this past week and they just now opened today. So we're gonna go in and give it a tour. We did a whole tour of Mount Dora. Love, love this town. Really excited to check out this bookstore. You can already see they've got the window that you can look in while you're walking by. Monday through Thursday, 10 to six. Friday and Saturday, 10 to eight. Sunday, 12 to six. Nice little reading area here. Barrel of books and games. Look at that. That looks really, really good. This is much bigger than their other location. Holy smokes. Here, look at this little reading area as well. Look at all the Monopoly games. Holy smokes. Now one thing they do have in here is they have a lot of Funkos, which I'm very excited for. Ton of books. Meet the author. And we come back to this little area. You can see here are all the Funkos. Wow. They're all here. They're all here. They're all here. And then I think if we come back here <laughs> holy cow they're all here good night look at all of these there's a ton mm -hmm. fantastic beasts over here holy smokes and then over here they've got all the they have a lot of good ones i'm going to buy several of these oh my goodness there's a bunch wow some pretty rare ones i've never seen before this is unreal now back out to the main area you can see they've just got rows and rows of books look at this huge pillow down here now i've talked to the owner before they're really good on instagram facebook and she told us about the funko so i'm about ready to get some what i think we'll end up doing is picking out some that we like and when we finish paying for them we'll show you the ones that we got but these are pretty unreal so right now we've got a stack of them and i'm gonna have to decide which ones to get i wanted to get a lot more there's also some bobbleheads over here that are really cool now they're all priced differently so if you're interested in them you'll have to ask and see what price each of them are but i mean there's some of the rarest ones i've ever seen out in a store before and i guess somebody just bought one of the original like jack sparrow ones which i'm a huge pirates of the caribbean fan so it's really cool to see other people getting some really rare funkos out there and also this is kind of like the kids section i guess huh young adult kids did you find any books you want you found plenty of books here before but yeah i need to i need to catch up on some of the books i already have so i think i'm gonna hold <laughs> off and i think it's gonna be your shopping trip oh today. thank you this is great i mean there's like i said i can't get over Willy Wonka, there's just so many I've never seen before out on the shelves. Now something that kind of stinks is once these are all out, um, they're not gonna get any more of them because Funko's making them buy like large, large quantities, which is just not worth it for them. So once these are gone, there won't be any Funkos here. However, still plenty of awesome books. Then if we just keep walking through these shelves, I love the ceiling in here too. It's really awesome. You can check out right up. Oh, you can't see because the books, but right up there is where you check out. Brings us around to this cool, huge pillow. I love how 
They actually have some windows that you can look in and see now. I wish I had video of the old store so you can compare, but this is much bigger and really, really nice. One of our favorite bookstores. It's right across from the dog bakery there. All right, now we're heading back outside. A huge bag full. That was uh, probably more than what we should have spent, but there were definitely some pretty unique ones there. It is a beautiful day out right now. Ever since the storm came, it's been like 83 out, not a cloud in the sky. I think they might have canceled their farmer's market today just due to the potential hazard of the weather, but it wasn't super crowded. Really, really nice book. Yeah, a lot more. Right, really, really nice book store. And just another view of the old bookstore right there. Well, that was a really great experience. Um, we'll actually put the bookstore's Instagram and Facebook links in the description that you can click on and check it out. It is one of our, we have, I think, two top bookstores in Florida, and that is one of them here in Mount Dora. It is such a cool place. Owner is terrific. A lot of good Funkos, but like I said, once they're gone, they're gone. Uh, but a lot of good books too. Uh, ton to choose from and with their new setup they've got a nice reading area and that huge like bean bag thing is really really cool place i'm glad we got to go just wanted to show you what all of us got what our haul was here's these funkos that for the most part we have never seen out in store some of them we have got some dodgeball in there steamboat willie some lord of the rings fantastic beast pirates mr rogers and christmas vacation and then over here we have, since my dad's a huge Star Trek fan, a few rare ones there. Got a Breaking Bad in there. The Shining, how cool is that? And a couple books. A book and some cards. We had to display them over here because <laughs> there's quite a bit of them. That was our trip out to Mount Dora for the Barrel of Books and Games bookstore. One of our favorites. Oh yeah, it's a must visit every time. For sure, and their new location is amazing. Mm -hmm. Totally I'm excited for them. Totally worth it. I mentioned earlier that there's like two bookstores that we absolutely love in Florida. This is one of them. Yeah. And then sometime we'll go and show you the other one. Um, but for now, there's three. Is there three? There is a third one. That's mm -hmm. right. I was wrong earlier. There's a total of three that are like top-notch bookstores, mm -hmm. and this is one of them. So if you're in the Mount Dora area stop by and check it out for sure yeah love it with that being said that does it for today thanks for watching